Good morning. It's the 7th of December. It's a very bright light. But I don't have to go to the office tomorrow. Normal service resumes somewhat. Um, I have to go into town for a breakfast meeting tomorrow, which will be nice. But then, then I have to come home and get ready for the Christmas party and then go out to the Christmas party again. So I'm just... I pulled justice today. Um, I'm I'm not going to read this book because actually I'm going to throw this book out because I don't like it. Um, but we need balance. I need balance. I like did a lot out of my routine the past couple of days and I'm feeling it and I knew that I would feel it so I that's why I only committed to um two mornings doing what needed to be done at the office so then I can come home and do my normal job <clears throat> I'm trying to not overcommit so I have some balance of you know, doing stuff for the business needs, needs the business, and looking after myself. So I'm going to do that today. I'm going to look after myself today. Um, I've taken Anna into nursery, and I've put my pyjama pants immediately back on. Um, I'm going to take it easy today. Don't have any meetings, I don't think. Um... And then I'm getting my nails done later. So yeah, I'm just trying to trying to be calm today after two days of relative mental exertion. Exertion. I can't think of the word. Anyway, number seven. Compost. It's pretty good brown though. That's a nice brown. Interesting brown. Browns are sometimes very uninteresting. Have I got this one already? I think so. No, another one that I don't maybe, maybe. How many cottage garden threads are there? Hmm, I wonder if I could go the whole of... Ooh. God. I wonder if I get the whole way through without getting a duplicate. Um, didn't stitch last night had a very long hot bath and then went to bed so I might do some stitching today while I'm chilling out because I'm so far behind on my model stitching now it's fine I'll ca I'll catch up but in my little my little tracker let's have a look <laughs> what's the date today the 7th I'm 859 stitches behind target so, I need to put in some stitches today, but that'll be okay. Do, 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 do. Yeah. I really need to be more fun. Maybe next year. No, because next year there'll be a different kind of infection because my ear still is, doesn't hurt, but it's, all the stuff that's behind my eardrum is just like sitting on my eardrum so I can't hear very well and it's annoying the absolute living crap out of me. Okay, I'll talk to you later, bye. Hello all. It's Friday the 8th of December. It's already half past four. I didn't film again this morning. Went out for breakfast with my boss and a few colleagues for a little Christmas kind of thing 
was supposed to be a meeting, but it, it, you know, it, it was an actual meeting. Just a catch up, really. Um, and then I'm going out tonight for the actual party night thing. Pulled the Nine of Cups, which is nice. Happy, happy card. Um, lots of money, but also lots of my book says this is a a money card but to me pentacles are more money this is just about emotion and like your cup overfloweth is what this is to me um so yeah happy card which would be good because i'm a bit anxious about tonight just going out and stuff and i can't I can't really hear. It was difficult even just at breakfast um, with like background noise and then trying to hear someone that I'm talking to. Um, so with like really loud music and and darkness as well, like it, it's like, um, it'd be like atmospheric light, not just like bright light. And it, it makes it harder to hear. I'm sure other people get that. Um, but yeah, bit anxious about it. I've got to sort out my hair tonight. Probably straighten it because I don't know what else to do with it. Um, advent thread. Let's see what we got. It's so well wrapped. Ooh, duck egg. Don't have this one either. Very nice blue with a bit pinky in there. That's cute. Not what I would call duck egg blue. Like a duck egg blue. But very nice colour. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, last night I did some stitching but I didn't film. Because um, when I was done I just wanted to go to bed. Because I was stitching on... This piece, Noel Blanc by Renato Paro Parolin. Terrible pronunciation, I'm sure. I think he's Italian. Um, but these are the piece, well, this is the piece that's on this band fabric that I got from the Knitting and Stitching Show. So I had to find something that's very specific to put on it. So I had had this piece that's got like a geometric pattern like woven in and then this piece that's got like look it's like cut work almost um so I had two pieces so I needed to get patterns that were like quite the right size so this turns out to be like a 28 count. So I'm doing one over one um, for this, but I think the fabric that I have, even though it just looks like a, like a raw linen or like quite natural, the, the white that is called for is B5200 and it just does not show up on here. Maybe because I'm doing one over one, maybe because this is a bit lighter than this is, actually is. So it's B5200 for the white and then, what was it? 3865 for like the shadow almost. I don't know if you can see. like almost like the outline of the the letters are in white and then the letters are in white and then the outline is kind of or there's a shadow or something in the 3865 I stitched both it just wasn't working at all um because they're in these berries at the top as well and you can't see 
like these white berries because I think it's supposed to be mistletoe. And then I was like, I'm gonna have to do conversion. I'm gonna have to get like actual blank, blank, or oh, uh, something else. And then I thought, just no, I just can't be bothered with it. So I'm, I just did a complete. It's it's not a conversion. It's kind of like a swap round. So you see the red, like ribbon type things. I think they're still berries, but yeah. So those are becoming my main berries and then they'll so that'll be the letters as well will be in red it's the red from the pattern so it's still kind of and then what were the red berries I will do in like a yellow gold so that's kind of the new thing that will come into it and I took inspiration from my Twas the Night piece that I changed the gold colour on so I was quite happy with how that looked so I looked up what I used for that and that is uh, 3820 and 3822 so it's going to look a little bit different but I just couldn't I can't get away with any kind of white light colour on this on this fabric so it's just a, it's a drastic change but that's okay I think it'll still look okay with the foliage because then I was like oh but it is supposed to be mistletoe the foliage will look weird but I think it'll be fine it's just a generic kind of berry in a leaf situation going on um but I think overall I'll be happier because this is was the one that I wanted to touch for my stitch finale 23 and the reason I put it off was because of the white situation. So I just kind of made a decision. Um, the other project that I've got living with it is this other Renato one. And um, this is Grand Melagrano. Um, big pomegranate. Um, so this is the one that lives on this um, piece. And I have hangers for them both. Um... This one's fine, this it doesn't need any changes. Um, but I think I will split them up because at the minute they're I I list them as one project on my board and they're in one project bag, but on my notion they are two separate, you know, for like heights and you know, they 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 are separate on my notion. So I need to separate them into the project bags and on my board. Um because I think that's another reason I don't gravitate towards it because I know that there's two, they're like the sister projects, they're like Moe Imperial and Moe White Star. I don't necessarily need to finish them at the same time, but I've grouped them together and I need to ungroup them. I think that will help my um, headspace on them. Um, so yeah, that's it. Um, I'm gonna go get ready as much as I can before the baby gets home and then get ready some more and then I'll be going out to my party. Hopefully it won't stay too late because I can't be bothered. Um, and then I don't know what we've got planned for the weekend, but we shall see. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Say hello everyone. Why are they not here? Will you just talk to them and then they watch it later? Um. Hi everyone! It is Sunday the 10th of December. I missed yesterday because Mummy was poorly, wasn't she? Yeah, but tell them that I'm a doggy. Oh, Anna's being a doggy today. I had a um, an adult headache after my Christmas party. So, we've got two presents to open today. For me. For me. The thread. Do you want to open them? Yeah. Let's do nine first. Yeah. I missed that one. Oh, they're difficult to open. Do it up here.
Ooh, what's this one? Um, I think this is Imagine of the World. Hmm? I think this is Imagine of the World. Imagine of the World? Can we get it out? No, we can't. You should just leave it in there. So this is Wheat. I don't know if I have this one already. I don't think I do. I think I've got Wheat in another. I think I've got a I think gentle this, art sweet. No, I think it's gentle art sweet in America. This one is Cottage Garden Threads Wheat from Australia. Who lives in Australia? Granda. Granda doesn't live in Australia. Matty Moo Moo lives in Australia. Okay, now we do ten. Oops, I can do it, I can do it. Okay, do it. It's from Imagine of Sarandras. This one's Gertie. That's a cool one. It's blue and green and beige. Is that good? You show them. Um, you tell me what the word is again. Gertie. Um, this is called Katie. Gertie. This is called Gertie. Gertie. Good job. Okay, should we say bye? Bye. Good morning all. Happy Monday the 11th. I apologise for yesterday and Saturday when I didn't film at all. Um, yeah, I had. Um, I would say I would say I had a lot of fun at the Christmas party, but it was like me. I didn't really want to go. Um, but yeah, the the lager didn't agree with me. Um, I do, I wasn't drunk. A little bit merry, maybe, but like I like oh, I don't know. I'm just old now. I can't. I can't hold my drink like that. Like I like I. I don't not drink. I have a drink like on a night, but it takes me maybe four hours to drink one rum and coke on a night and then I, and then I'm only having like probably what is equivalent to half a shot of rum in a lot of diet coke so I don't know the last time I went out and drank that much and like it it wasn't even that much I think it was probably equivalent to less than three pints of lager i just maybe it was just the type of lager um but yeah i was out all of that day i just had to stay in bed i was up i was like getting ready we were getting ready to go to ikea and then i was really really rather sick um and my head that was kind of fine before felt like it was cracking open like an egg. So I don't really know what happened there. I'm I, like, now I'm reflecting on it. I think I might have aggravated my um, gastro thing that I dealt with. It was a couple of years ago now, but some, like, I have to be really careful. Like, things like if I take my vitamins on an empty stomach that will just come straight back up my stomach doesn't like that so I'm thinking it was a stomach thing rather than a an alcohol thing but it was the alcohol in my stomach but rather than that I was actually I'm not like I'm not defending myself it was just I was really ill self-inflicted 
obviously, um, if I'd have really thought about it, I should have not had anything to drink at all. I should have just stayed on the Diet Coke. Um, but there was, that was, yeah, there wasn't an option to, like I paid my money and the the dinner was kind of free because I worked for a hotel company and we went to one of our hotels and you paid a bit of money to have drinks on the table. And the choice was red wine, white wine or lager. Like I could have obviously raised it and said, I would like a soft drink, please. But yeah, so Saturday plans went out the window. Um, managed to wake up about four o'clock and have some chips. So I had some good carbs in my stomach. Um, and then went back to bed. And then I woke up Sunday and I felt so much better. And we went to Ikea because um, we need new towels. And I love Ikea towels. They're not, like, I'm sure there are, like, softer, fluffier, like, higher count cotton towels than Ikea. But you know what Ikea do? Ikea sew little loops in the middle of their towels so I can hang them nicely on my bathroom door. And I appreciate that. Um, so we went and um, bought new towels with loops. Um, Anna went in the creche. I don't know if there's, in America, do they have the creche at Ikea? They call it small land here, like small land. And I remember going to it when I was a kid, when my mum like when we lived probably like a two and a half hour drive from an Ikea. So if we were doing an Ikea trip, it was like a day out. Like we had to leave really early and it was like, you had a list of what you needed and like everything was measured that we could get it in the car afterwards. Like if we were buying wardrobes or beds or whatever. Um, so me and my sister would stay in the creche most of the time while my mum and my stepdad did the did the shopping um and obviously covid it was all closed um and i don't think you can go until you're three anyway i think it's like between three and 11 years of age um so she'd never experienced it before and I was just looking on um, the website for their opening times on a Sunday and it said, oh, the small land is now open. I think it's been open for a while, but we just really haven't really noticed. Um, and I said to Anna, oh, do you want to go to the, the, the play group? She called it soft play because they had a little ball pit. Um, but it, it was just a ball pit. And then they did, you know, there's some arts and crafts tables and they've got the little Ikea kitchen, play kitchen and kind of, what do you call it? Like role play stuff. Um, so I showed her some pictures and said, do you want to go? And she got all really excited about it. I was like, okay, let's, let's go check it out. And it's free for 45 minutes, you can go in for free. So it wasn't, you know, if she wanted to pick up after 10 minutes, then it would be fine, it wasn't a waste of money. Um, so we got there and we got her all signed in and we had to wear like one of those little buzzer things, you know, when you're waiting for a table at a restaurant and you wait in the barn and they give you a buzzer and it buzzes when your table's ready. Um, so that if it buzzed, like we knew that she needed us or she, you know, she was done. Um, so we were walking around like clutching the thing, like ready to be like, she's gonna have a meltdown, but she didn't. She absolutely loved it. 
Um, she came out with some little Christmas trees that she had decorated. Um, she'd been playing with another little girl, apparently, um, playing kittens. So cute. Um, so yeah, she had a really good time. So that's good, good news that if we needed to go do something, like towels isn't the end of the world, but um, like we had to make some decisions on like colour schemes and because Anna's like grown out of her little toddler like hooded towel so she was going to get some big girl towels so everybody needs their own colour so we have to decide on colour and um, so it was, just, it was just so much easier without her being there, like getting bored and running around and um, and then it kind of limited us to, we've got to get round and checked out and back to the front to go pick her up by the 45 minutes or up. So we probably actually saved money because I didn't like browse as much. <laughs> um, so yeah, it was fun. Um, so we were supposed to do that on Saturday, but Sunday worked. Um, but yeah, I feel like I've just missed, I, I, I hate, I like, I love spending a day in bed. Not when I feel terrible, but like, I'm quite happy to have a duvet day on the sofa or just do nothing. But when it's kind of not in your control, or you know, you're ill. It doesn't feel like a rest because you're trying to recover. Um, so I feel like I only had like one day of my weekend. Um, but anyway, um, I pulled my card. <laughs> Don't know how long I've been talking about Ikea. Um, three of ones is today, which is nice. Um, so this is the card. They don't have the, um, like the figures on these cards. They just have the, um, the symbols, but this is the figure, um, that's like stood, um, looking out to sea. So lots of plans, um, lots of looking forward to what you envision you're creating and then, um, before you go on the journey kind of thing which is nice um I don't really know what that might be referring to whether it's work because I've already had it's 8 57 and I've already had some challenging emails from a challenging colleague um so I was hoping for some guidance on that I guess it is because the thing that we're talking about or this colleague is challenging me on is is some work to is the pre-work to that my life will be easier work life will be easier and he's just trying to avoid doing the work when like I'm going to be doing so much work for him later, he just needs to give me this little bit of thing. Anyway, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna stress. I have replied in my um, nicest, most concise tone. Um, and hopefully he'll just do his job, which would be nice. Um, Advent, what are we on? We're on the 11th, yep, yeah. 11. Ashdale. Lots of pretty neutrals in this. And again, I don't have this one. I don't think we've got a... I don't think we've got a duplicate so far. Very nice. Cream and like a pinky beige. Very nice. And then over the weekend, I can't remember when because I was probably asleep when the package came, but I got uh, my fabric of the month from... Fibre on a whim via Patchwork Rabbit. 
this is, I think this is my last 36 count that I'll get and then I'll switch to the 40 count. This is latte. Like this whole fabric of the month thing I think is a neutral or like a, a, it's specifically neutral. Although we do get a nice orange one before. Um, But yeah, I think this is like my sixth month so I've got six 36 count neutrals um which is fine but I'll I'll switch it to a 40 count for probably six months and then I'll consider whether I just stop stop that depending on how many starts I have next year I've got a lot of my quirky Quakers obviously um but it depends on the stitch count of those um to get it in the in the one inch hexi whether i do it on a 36 or a 40 or i could get away with a 28 um it's just gonna be a grab it and see which is why i'm excited for whip go because then that it just decides for me which one which one i'm having which one i'm doing and then i have to decide which one to pick up and then I want this fabric so I should stitch this Quirky Quaker like I just have to stitch this Quirky Quaker whatever fabric it goes on figure it out Helen um I think that's it I'm very cold today I've got this um like wrap thing that my mum knit for when we went to Sky, and then it turned out to be really hot so I climbed a mountain at five o'clock in the morning and I was too hot to wear this um so I'm trying it out now but I'm just trying to get used to get used to wearing it because it's like it just wraps around um so to sit and type and reach and because I go like that and then it goes boop not delicate enough for knitwear. Um, yeah, I'll probably upload this one, so it might be a longer one, and then I'll start. I'll start a new one um, tomorrow. So I will talk to you later.